Hello and welcome to another AIC video. So for the last uh, week or so, I've been working on a video for this Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 3. Hopefully that will be out here fairly soon. I'm trying to do something a little bit different on it and it's taking me a lot longer than I expected. And so I wanted to take a short mental break, do an unscripted video, completely unscripted, uh, on my IBM ThinkPad X31. So. Uh, as you can see in the background, I have a ton of boxes. I am still in the process of moving into my new house. Everything's a mess, everything is a disaster, but one of the things I was super excited to get out of storage was my X31. I'd bought it, done a couple things with it, and then started the whole move-in process, and so I never really got a chance to do the things I wanted to with it. Uh, so I've been playing around with it. I installed Puppy Linux on here. It was an okay experience. Uh, I also threw Windows 7 on here, which is what's currently running. Uh, just to see how it performed. And I was actually surprised at how well Windows 7 ran on this, much, much older than that operating system. Uh, but honestly, it's now that I think about it, it's really not that much older. I think this came out in like 2002, 2003, I think, something like that. Um, and uh, Windows 7 came out in what, 2000... I'm trying to think. 2000... 2009 somewhere in there anyways so uh, like I said totally unscripted trying to throw dates out there and I'm so bad with dates but I recently watched on um, uh, action retro he talked about an operating system and I want to go ahead and give it a try um, and that is haiku so I hadn't heard of it heard of it before and I thought it I'd want to see how it performed on this laptop I believe he had a Core 2 Duo, seemed to work pretty good on here. I am running a Pentium 3, however. So um, one thing with this laptop is I only have um, like 712 megabytes of RAM, something like that, or 700 and whatever. It's It's got a 512 and a 256, so was that 780 something? Um, or 792, whatever it is. Um, it doesn't have more than a gig of RAM. I did order more RAM for this, uh, but of course it's being slow boated from China, so. Who knows when I'll actually get it. Uh, one thing with this laptop and with a lot of these laptops is uh, if you want to install an operating system on here via USB drive, I have found that you need to have a drive that is no more than eight gigabytes uh, with a FAT32 partition on there. So that's something that um, definitely is something you want to be aware of if you're wanting to do this. So let's go ahead, power this puppy on. I think it's still plugged in. To power I have no battery on here just the camera up just a touch try not to show how just how disastrous my office is one thing we'll do on here is we'll plug the USB drive in before we even boot it because when I first got this I couldn't figure out how to boot to USB I have since figured that out so I want to show you that process here real quick um, we want to do F1 to go into setup then we go down to startup Go to boot and then hard drive you can actually see the jet flash trans 8 gigabyte there and we want to hit f6 to move it up now this is kind of a one-time deal it won't keep this uh if you unplug and plug the usb drive back in so just something to keep in mind f10 to save and now we're going to reboot Let's see if we can get this to, it really is finicky. It's really finicky. If I do this and plug it back in, uh, we're going to do F12 and we're gonna do hard drive. There we go, Haiku. So you saw I had to, it was frozen on that screen. I had hit the access IBM button but it wasn't doing anything. We had to unplug and plug in the USB and immediately start in, you know, really had to make sure we plug that USB back in very quickly. Select a temporary boot device and select hard drive. And now it's booting from the USB drive. So I've gotten that to work uh, now uh, with different operating systems, Linux. Uh, like I said, I tried Puppy. Um, I tried Windows 7. Uh, I tried Windows 10 and it just completely would not boot at all. I would just get like snow on the screen.
I have no idea how long this is going to take to load here. And we may speed this process up. And it's still trying to boot up here. I'm not quite sure what's taking so long, but uh, it is not doing anything at this moment. Hmm. I'm going to pause this and come back to it in just a minute, see if we can get it to uh, the boot. But as of right now, we're just stuck on the splash screen. So I have no indication the light on the USB drive is not blinking. I don't see any hard drive light down here blinking. So I'm not sure if it's stuck and frozen or if it's uh, trying to do something. So we'll give it a couple minutes and come back to it. All right, so I actually don't know what happened there. I went ahead and rebooted the system and tried booting from the USB drive a second time and it went right through. It took just a few seconds to get through that loading screen. So something got hung up. Not sure, sure what, but obviously it, it's working now. Uh, once we get past the loading screen, this is the next screen we see. So I haven't done anything. And you want to install Haiku. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. Um, continue. Now, there is an operating system on the disk right now. No partitions. That's fine. We're going to set up partitions. And we're just going to... Um, so I'm doing this uh, through my camera here and then we're going to do format I believe it needs to be the B file system right changes all right so that should be good now we close this which I believe is this button here Installs from, on to, and we click begin. start unplug the USB drive I don't think we need it in That's a pretty quick uh, boot process. I didn't time it, but it sure didn't feel like it was very long. Um, we have a user guide, tracker. Oh, I haven't done anything here. I think it's just still installing stuff uh, and loading things in the background. Let's poke around a little bit. And what I'll probably do is now that it's installed, um, is take some time, do some setup, and here's a quick tour. Install some programs, install some some games on here, kind of figure out what we got going on. And I'll follow up with you guys uh, after I've had a chance to kind of poke at it and dig through it. All right, so I have Haiku installed and I've had a chance to play with it. Um, 
and I like it so far. It definitely seems more responsive than some of the other Linux distros I've used. Uh, a little bit more useful, um, a little more user-friendly, I guess I could say, out of the box. One thing to note, uh, unlike some of the other Linux distros, it did not, and this isn't Linux, I know that, but the Linux distros I tried, uh, out of the box, my wireless did not work. Um, I had to go to terminal. They have something for this. Uh, you have to type install dash Wi-Fi slash uh, firmware dot sh, uh, and you do have to be connected to the uh, the internet via Ethernet, and it did install the drivers for my uh, Ethernet port, so we're good to go there. Installed Wi-Fi uh, firmware, so Wi-Fi works great um, and is as fast as I would expect it to be. Uh, the other thing that does not work on here is my volume buttons up here do not work and my scroll button does not work. So I'm going to see if there's any um, drivers for that somewhere for Haiku. I'm not hopeful, um, but it'd be nice if they if those did exist. Um, it does come with a web browser installed. Uh, go to Applications, down to Web Positive, and it seems to load okay. Uh, anything... Um, just go here. I just click on one of the top posts. So it's I'm on old Reddit just because it runs faster than regular Reddit just to see how it ran and it ran okay. I definitely wouldn't use this for any serious internet use. Uh, everything on it is slow. It's a single core Pentium 3 running at I think 1.4 gigahertz. It is not by any stretch of the imagination a fast computer in this day and age, but um, it is usable-ish, so you could use it if you needed to. Um, I went ahead and also installed, uh, oh, keep doing that, uh, LibreOffice. Let's see if this loads up here. It takes a while. Everything takes a while. Again, slow computer, old computer. We'll close out of that as well. Did I not click on that? Oh, there we go. Now I've opened it twice. Of course I did. And you can see it takes a while to load. Especially if you open it twice. <laughs> um, but once you're in it, uh, it's pretty quick. I don't feel any lag. Like when I tried to use uh, Google Docs and tried to write a doc on there, it was, had a huge lag and the font was really weird. Um, but anyway, so it works fine for this sort of stuff. I haven't installed any games on it. Um, that's something I'll look into as well, but I just wanted to make this video real quick. I'm definitely gonna be trying this out, using it, seeing what I can do with it, uh, with this operating system. So if you're looking to install Haiku on your old IBM ThinkPad and you're looking at this versus some of the other operating systems, so far I've found this to be far more user-friendly than even Puppy Linux, which I know is meant to be kind of a, a fairly user-friendly operating system. Uh, pretty impressed with this, honestly, uh, so far. So again, just only been playing with it for like 30, 45 minutes. So not a huge uh, um, investment so far into my time with it. But if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. I'll see what I can do. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.